Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kebabster.com, out here for a quick how-to. I'm gonna replace the scales on this Swiss Army knife with these guys right here from Prometheus Design Works. Unbeknownst to me, there's an entire SAC subculture, complete with acronyms, S-A-K, Swiss Army Knife, where people mod them out and also make different scales for them to include Prometheus Design Works. And these are pretty cool because they address, honestly, a shortcoming for me with these knives. By way of example, I have this awesome old Boy Scouts of America knife, amazing blade on it, amazing steel, and I ended up putting this lanyard on it because I would put it in my pocket and then it would basically swim around with whatever else I had in my pocket and I'd try and fish it out and have to kind of rifle through things. So. Hopefully the lanyard was still sticking out of my pocket so I could get that, get access to it. But Prometheus Design Works using pretty cool machining processes. Pretty sure these are CNC and different materials and stuff. Address some of that to include with this pocket clip. So you can clip it in your pocket, which is really handy. And there's also this piece right here, which glows in the dark. Also pretty cool and textured. So. I believe these are made out of G10, but can end up replacing the scales on this. I believe this is the Tinker something or other. Basically has some handy stuff on here to include a Phillips head screwdriver as well as scissors. Pretty handy to have lots of times. So gonna end up removing the scales and putting these on. So go over what I have here and make it happen. I guess first and foremost, a couple tools you will need you're going to need this little T25, or not a T25, but this Torx bit to remove that piece right there and then reapply it. I have my fix-it sticks for that. I am choosing to glue this on. They're probably machined close enough to where you can just snap them on. I'm going to epoxy these things on. And then with that, I have a couple pieces of wood to use as blocks and a couple C-clamps. So we'll get this thing taken apart, swap them out. First thing that needs to happen is we need to remove the old scales on this. So take these tweezers out and this toothpick out. And basically we want to pry these off. It's held on, I believe just friction fit over some different kind of like grommets in here, like almost rivets sticking up. So I'm gonna use my sweet old knife. Use the awl, should work for this. Hopefully I won't stab my hand open, but we want to get under here and then just slowly start working it back and skills are starting to lift up. There we go. And just keep working along. And there's one side. Same thing. Just start it down here. So we got those removed. I scraped that up a tiny bit. Don't matter, don't care. Um, if, this is actually a new knife. If you carried this for a long time, you might have dirt and stuff in there. You might wanna clean it off, especially if there's oil or something like that, because it's gonna end up using a little bit of epoxy to stick these guys on. And if you notice, they only go on one way. So obviously this wants to marry up there, give room for the Phillips head screwdriver and the other side on the other side. So get these prepped and get them going. What's that thing about proper planning and all that? So brought out my fix it stick set. I'm like, oh, I'll definitely have what I need in here. Actually, I don't. These little screws right here are something smaller than a T8 Torx bit which I don't have, so I'm gonna just go ahead and press on. Fortunately, with how rigid this is, here's what we're looking at. The idea is you remove this so that when you place this thing on here, you can clamp it down and have a really good surface to push down. Well, fortunately, because of the design, how wide this is and how much contact is made, when this presses down, especially between a wood block, I think there'll be zero issue getting enough pressure and whatever. Not pulling that thing off, will not be dissuaded. So 
in order to get these on here so they will never ever come off i'm going to apply a little bit of epoxy i'm going to use this stuff right here basically a two-part epoxy you can use whatever but i'll go ahead and get this mixed up apply it and go from there Spoiler, that's definitely not coming out even. All right, I have my epoxy set up, or mixed up rather, and now we're gonna go ahead and get this stuff applied. We don't need a ton of this stuff, but as I mentioned, I don't want this thing coming apart. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit basically on the edge of these holes where it's gonna make contact with those little grommets. Also gonna put some along this flat. I don't necessarily wanna get in that channel because it will create fitment issues. Same thing over on this side. Again, not going crazy, but I have what I want on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these sides put on. They should, because they're precision machine, pretty much just snap in there. do. Now for this side. Make sure you match your holes up. And so we've now snapped these guys in. But I want to make sure there's some even pressure on here. So I have these two blocks. And I'm going to go ahead and put a clamp on them and give it some time. And now that I have this thing clamped in there, I'm gonna go ahead and give it five minutes to set up. And after the requisite amount of time for whatever epoxy you're using, you can basically remove those clamps. If you're one of those people that's like, I'm gonna go big and put a ton of epoxy in there, because you're like, I never ever want it to come undone, that's fine. But if you have so much that it's coming out and getting into the actual knife body itself, I would encourage you to open up those tools, clean it all out of there so that when it finally sets up, you will still be able to actually use your tools. So now I yeah, show you what I'm looking at and go ahead and just put my toothpick and my tweezers back in and this guy's done. And if you're wondering, these little accessories only go in one way because of the way the top is contoured. That guy goes in there. Flip it over, and our reusable toothpick. Does anyone reuse their toothpicks? I'm really looking forward to putting more time in with this because, yeah, it's once again practical to carry. Just the simple being able to have a pocket clip on there. Like I said, that other one, I made it work Sometimes it'd still get lost in the stuff inside my pockets, and yeah, this is pretty handy. And on addition, or in addition to that, Prometheus Design Works does an amazing job just with like materials, aesthetics, everything like that, to include even their little special projects division logo, the Kraken with the trident, that laser on there, and yeah, everything's just super clean. Again, a little glow in the dark dot cool little accents like that. So definitely looking forward to putting in more time with it. And when I do get a bunch of time with it, bring you guys a full review. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.